Question 19. So, um, we've got to calculate the size of the angle between the line AD and the plane ABC. So, bottom line, we're going to be looking at the two-dimensional triangle ADC and trying to work out this angle DAC, what I'm calling X. So, our goal is to work out this angle here. Now, at the moment, we don't know anything about the triangle ADC. So, we're going to have to build up a couple of sides of that. We're going to build up finding out the sides DC. Then we're going to move on to finding the side AD and then we'll be away. Then finally we can work out angle X using the sin rule because we'll have the, we'll know the opposite and the hypotenuse. So step by step, let's start off by working out the length of the side DC. Now that's not too bad. We're just going to look at the right angle triangle BDC where we know that BC is 20, the angle DBC is 34, and it's a right angle triangle. So using uh, tan, we can see that tan 34 equals our uh, opposite over our adjacent, our DC over 20. So we can work out that the length DC equals 13.49017. Right, now to work out the length AD, it's more tricky. We're now going to move on to looking at the non-right angle triangle ADB, which I've drawn down here, ADB. Now we know that the angle ADB is 45, the angle DBA is 60. We can therefore work out that the remaining angle must be 75, angles in a triangle. Um, so, But at the moment we don't know any, any of the sides, so I'm going to start off by working out um, the length of DB, which I can do by going back to the, my original triangle, and I can work out DB by using cos 34 equals 20 over BD, so BD equals 24.1243. So I now know that this length here is 24. So I can then, using the sine rule, go and work out the length of AD. So the sine rule, remember we need to know a pair, we don't do now need, no, need a pair, we do now know a pair rather, we know this pair, so we can say that um, um, the uh, length AD over sine 60 equals the length 24.12 over sine 75. So using the sine rule, I, work in, I can work out AD to be 21.6293. So back to the triangle that I was always aiming to work out two sides for, the triangles ADC. I know DC from over here. I know AD from what I've just done using the sine rule. So finally I can work out the angle I need which I've called X angle DAC by saying sin X equals my opposite over my hypotenuse. So x equals 38.58 dot dot dot, so 38.6 degrees to one decimal place.